Let's go into our Wuji stance. Feet facing forward, flat on the floor. Out shoulder width apart. Relax the knees, just a slight bend to the knees. Bring the hips forward just a little bit. Feel like the top of the head is being lifted upward, elongating the spine. Tuck the chin in just a little bit. So we have a nice straight spine. Breathe in and out through the nose. Nice deep abdominal breathing. Just focus on the breath. Make sure to pause between each. So we breathe in, the abdomen expands. We pause and the abdomen contracts back towards the spine as we breathe out. And then we pause again. Just a little wave breathing. You can put your hand on your chest and your hand on your abdomen, or you can just let your arms hang down. The idea as you breathe in, the abdomen expands, and then the air continues to fill up all the way to the chest as the chest expands. We pause, the chest deflates, then the abdomen. And you're gonna rock a bit. As I breathe out, I'm sinking down into my heels. As I breathe in, I'm coming into my toes. Just get that sensation of being in the ocean and the waves are gently rocking your body. Let your shoulders relax. A couple more. Just feel that connection to the earth. Good. Continue to breathe. Do your wave breathing. Bring your hands back to your kidneys. Feel the energy coming out of the palms, going into the kidneys. If you like visualizations, imagine a dark blue light filling the kidneys. Feel the warmth. We haven't done bone breathing or skin breathing in a while. Just do a little more breathing through the kidneys. As you're doing that, feel this whole center channel, the Dai Mai, expand and contract. Breathing into the belt channel one of the extraordinary meridians.
It's the only meridian that goes this direction. Good, and just let your hands drop down. Continue with the wave breathing. Relax the shoulders, the arms. And as you breathe in, see if you can start to sense every single pore on your body, pulling that oxygen, that air into the body. So your whole body kind of inflates and deflates. Make sure to get a pause between the inhalation and the exhalation. And then between the exhalation and the inhalation. And just let your body expand with that breath as it comes in, deflate as it goes out. Your entire body pulling in the chi, the energy. Couple more, and we're gonna try and change to bone breathing. Bone breathing will be almost exactly the same thing, but when we breathe in, we tense the entire body. And pull that energy all the way into the bone marrow. One more time, nice deep breath in. And take breath out. Good. Now this time, really breathe it in, but tense everything. And then let everything relax. Pause, set yourself for the next one. Breathe in, tense everything. Pause, tense a little more. And then relax as you breathe out. One more time, nice big one. And out, good. Holding that position, let's do a couple of postures from Jin Yi. So the first one, uniting original chi, we're gonna let our hands come around in a circle, but we're not gonna move our shoulders so the body doesn't turn from the waist or the shoulders. The arms just come up to the side and they drop back down. Try to see if you can feel it coming out of the chest. Don't lift your hands too high. If you're coming basically to above the top of the head, you, you can feel that you're then breaking this connection here. So you wanna keep it so that your chest kind of pushing the arms. The hands relax. They're just kind of long for the ride. One hand does not come inside the other. It's like you're working along this flat plane here. One more time and then we're gonna reverse. So we're gonna come around, go to the bottom and then reverse. So 
These first three postures from Jin Yi are great for any kind of shoulder issue, help soften and move the intercostal muscles. And as we age, those intercostal muscles become more rigid. So this is a good way to keep them fresh, supple. Try not to move the body. Try to do this nice and slow. One of the hardest things in Qigong is for Westerners is the slow movement. The slower you go, the more you start to feel the energy. One more time. Gonna come around. Come down to the bottom. Lift your hands straight up, just lightly in front of the chest, elbows just slightly bent. Turn your right hand up. You're gonna turn or actually move the hands to the left without moving the body at all. So the shoulders don't move, the waist doesn't move. It's all, you'll feel a compression here and an opening here. And then we turn the hands over. We don't go very far. And then we allow them to go to the opposite side. Again, really working the intercostal muscles, the muscles between the ribs. Jade dragon moves around the body. Couple more. Again, one hand does not drop inside the other. It's like they're just rubbing against a wall. So the fingertips stay right along that wall. Last one. Come back to the center, drop down. So this next one, take your right hand, I'll mirror you, place it under the arm with the heel of the hand pushing right up against the side of your chest muscle. Push down with the heel of the hand. So you're really trying to stop that muscle from engaging. We're gonna turn palm up as we come up. It's a small circle. And then palm down as we go down. Breathe in as it rises. Pause, breathe out as it goes down. Again, try not to move the body, not to move the shoulders. Feel the pectoral muscle, pectoris muscle starting to try and engage. And that's why we push it down and kind of hold it in place. Very nice. One more time, and then we're gonna reverse. So now we go back, palm up, in the front palm down. Still pushing that pectoral muscle down.
allowing the shoulder ball and socket to move without even really using the muscles. Nice, slow, controlled movement. With the breath, we breathe in as we come up. We pause, we breathe out as we go down. We pause, breathe in. One more time. Good. And switch to the opposite side. So first get set, push down on the chest muscle there. Arm rises up, palm up, comes behind, palm down. Keep the circle within your comfort zone. Never want to experience in any of these postures, any kind of discomfort. If you lift the hand too high, you'll break that connection. You'll start to engage too much of the, the shoulder, the back. We don't want to do that. One more time and then we're gonna reverse. So we come around, come to the bottom and then turn palm up as we go back, palm down as we go forward. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, pause, breathe out, pause. One more time. Good, and relax. Let's just move the shoulders a bit. Do opposite shoulder rolls. Try to just use the shoulders. And backwards. Good. Now the fourth posture, dividing north and south. We're gonna bring our elbows up. So they're basically just slightly in front of the head. Let the arms drop down as we clap. We're then gonna bring them down, let them just drop, but we're gonna lift them up a little. So we're not gonna be clapping down here at our butt. We're gonna lift them up as high as comfortable and clap there. So we just go. You open your chest as you come up, collapsing it as you go down. Couple more. Slow it down and rest. Good. 
Let's bring our feet a little bit closer together. We're gonna bring the energy up from the floor, up through the bottom of our feet, up the torso as the arms float up. We come up on our toes as we reach for the sky. Breathe out as we come down. Pause. Breathe in, lift the energy up and out. And then pause and then breathe out, sending the energy that we no longer need or no longer serves us back down to be recycled in the earth. One more time. Good. Bring both hands up, palms facing each other, feet about shoulder width apart. I'll mirror you, you're gonna lean to the left. Feel that stretch all along here. Let's just hold this for a moment. Just relax into it. And come back to center. Lean to the right. And just hold that for a couple of moments. Let all of those muscles relax. And come back to center. Turn to the left. As far as comfortable and looking back. And just hold that for a couple seconds. Come back to the center. Turn to the right. Come back to the center. And sweep down. Good. So let's put that all together. Bending and twisting like bamboo. So we're gonna breathe the energy up. We're gonna to lean to the left. Breathe in as we come back to center. Breathe out as we lean to the right. Back to center. Turn to the left. Back to center. Turn to the right. Back to center. Sweep down. Breathe in, bring it up. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. One last time. Good. Imagine you're holding onto the moon here. You may even be able to feel the energy ball, the chi ball between your fingers, between your palms. Lift that ball up and, your, and behind you as you look at it. Bring it down and switch to the opposite side. Looking back at the moon. One more time, each side. Back to center, good. 
keeping your feet shoulder width apart. Take your left hand and just put it on the hip for now. Take your right hand, sweep it back. Come over the, to the head, palm faces the body as it comes down the center line. So we breathe in, pause, breathe out. Sweeping the Ren, the Ren meridian or the conception vessel runs up the front of the body. Breathe in as you gather, breathe out as you come down the Ren Meridian. One more time. And then we're gonna switch. So with the left hand, reach back and bring it down. Turning at the hips when you reach back looking back and then turning forward again as it comes down the body. One more time. Good, put your hands on your hips. Put a little bit of a wider stance. Nice big hip rotations. Try to use the hips and not the shoulders. So the body, the upper torso doesn't really move very much at all. It's all out of the hips. And reverse. Now just go forward and back. Good. Now we're going to use that forward and back as we do spinal cord breathing. So we're going to lift the elbows up. We're going to have our hips back, chest to the ceiling, and then we're going to pull the elbows down so our shoulder blades come down and together. Then we breathe out. We bring our arms together, the forearms together, palms facing you, hips come forward chin tucks into the chest. Breathe in. Pause, get a little extra stretch, breathe out. One last time, breathe in, really feel that arch, feel the shoulder blades, and then the reverse as you breathe out. And relax. Just let your arms hang and just let your body move side to side, dog wags tail. Try to keep all the movement to the side so we're not going front to back at all. You could try different speeds. So just like a dog, when he's happy to see you, he speeds up. And then 
After a while, he just kind of slows down. He's still happy, but it's much slower. And then he sees you're gonna go outside and he speeds up again. And then he realizes he was mistaken and he slows down again. Still a happy dog. Good, slow it down. Go to a wider stance. And all we're gonna do here is we're gonna shift our weight. We're gonna go to side to side. If you need to, you can put your hands on your thighs to support the upper body, but you wanna stay nice and straight. If you don't need to, just let the arms hang and just continually adjust. So you get wider and lower, as long as you stay within your comfort zone. Good, just a couple more. Come back to center. Do a nice big swan dive, open the chest, look to the ceiling. And then just let yourself go, come down and just hang. Each time you breathe out, let your body settle closer to the floor. Make sure your neck, head, shoulders are all relaxed. The only tension you should feel is in the back of the legs, maybe in the glutes, but that's about it. Everything else should be relaxed. Slowly come up from the lower back first. So we roll up. The head and shoulders stays down. Lower back stacking one vertebra on top of the other. Then the middle back. Then the upper back. Then the shoulders. And then finally look up to the neck. Breathe out as we come down again. and then slowly roll up. Try to feel each vertebra falling into place. One more time. Good. Also in this position, looking to the sky, bring the hands into the chest in a prayer position and really collapse that chest, but the shoulders come forward. So breathe in, we open the chest. Pause, soak up that energy. Breathe out as we pull the energy in to the middle dantian, into the heart center. And as we transition from heart to the sky, to pressing palms. So on this next one, let the hands come around. Prayer position above your head. Standing nice and straight and tall. Press the palms together so the elbows come up and drop down as far as comfortable. And breathe in as you come up. Pause, get yourself set. Breathe out. Really pushing those palms together. Pause and breathe in and relax.
Last one. Really press those palms together. Drop down. Relax. Bring the feet in. Let's do tiger grasps to pray. So if we're gonna do it first to the front, then we'll do it to either side. So a little bit wider than shoulder width. So you got a nice stable platform here. You're gonna roll your hands around as you stick your butt out and grab the prey, pull it in. Around and pull it in. Good. So now we're going to drop the hands down and grab, pull. Second time we do this, it's more relaxed and pull. So the first time it's like you see the animal and you pounce on it and grab it, pull it into you. And you just want it a little bit closer. And bring it in. And we find another prey. So the first one is much more vigorous. And notice, I forgot to mention, we've got tiger claws. So we're holding our hands like tiger claws. One more time for each. Good. So the next one we do to the side. We keep our hands in front of us. And just like a tiger, we're gonna to look to the side first. I see the prey. I'm then gonna rotate my arms around. I'm gonna turn outward, grab it, pull it in. Then rotate around much more softly, pull it in, come back to center. We'll do that again. So look to the side. Aha, I see it. Pounce. Pull it in. Drag it a little bit further. Pull it in, back to center. Now we look to the opposite side. You see it? Bounce, pull it in, pull it in a little bit further, back to center. One more time, look, bounce, pull it in, and come around again, pull it in, back to center. Bring your feet in about shoulder width apart. Let's do the posture called the tiger. So you have tiger claws. We're gonna float up and down. Breathe in as you claw your way up. Breathe out as you claw your way down. Good. One more time, and then we're going to do what's called the tiger pump. So this time we're going to go down and really push out and then come back up. Breathe out through the mouth. One more time.
and relax. Good. Let's just do a little bit of shaking. So bring the feet in a little bit more. So your nice stable platform, bending at the knees, let the rest of the body just relax and shake out. So the head shakes, the wrists shake, the arms shake, all from just moving from the knees. Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth on this one. We're gonna purge. We'll let whatever energy needs to be recycled back into the earth, come out. Allowing for all the meridians to flow freely without any kind of blockages or stagnation. Couple more. And then let's go into the swing. So we're gonna bring our hands up. We're gonna turn the palms towards the body. So we're basically, we're dumping energy, showering energies down our body. Then we're turning palms down as we bend our knees, it comes behind us, we straighten up a little bit. Then as we come forward, we bend the knees again, capturing and bringing the energy. Now it's And imagine you're on a giant swing, standing on a swing. On a hot summer day like this, imagine you're swimming, swinging over Antarctica. Feel that coolness just cascading down the body. Feel that energy as you grab it, pull it in, and let it pour down your body. A couple more. Last one, and bring your hands up to the front of the face. Feel that energy coming out of your palms. Feel it entering the skin, the muscles, the bones, the organs of the head. Just turn a nice lazy circle. Let all that energy smooth out the skin, relaxing all the muscles in the face. You can even come around a little bit further getting in front of the ear, number of meridians pass through that point. Feel yourself rejuvenated and reverse. One more, and just come back to the face again. You can touch your head or not. You're gonna come up over the top of the head, down behind the ears, turn palms outward, following the jawline, cross the hands at the heart. Take a nice deep breath here. Breathe out, push it down inside of the legs, around the toes, up the outside of the legs, to the kidneys, pushing it up the spine, bring it around 
and in front of you into prayer position. Good, we're gonna just let our hands drop. Breathe in and breathe out, pointing the fingers at the horizon, feel the energy coming out of your fingertips. Then with a flourish, flip them over, drop them down a little bit, gather the energy in the palms as you bring them up. Breathe out as you push it down through the top of your head, down the torso, make contact with your abdomen, push the energy down the inside of the legs, round the toes, up the outside of the legs, up the spine, Come out under the arms back to prayer position. Just take a moment to feel the energy moving through the body. One last time, just drop the hands down, breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Pushing down the inside, around, up the outside, up past the kidneys, up the spine, up and around to the front. Go to a wider stance. And let's just start out with a nice, easy movement side to side. Just kind of loosen everything up for a moment. So the hands are gonna stay right in front of the chest. Good, and let's go into the beginning part of Swimming Dragon. So come back to the center. Drop down only as far as comfortable. Keeping your fingertips pointed towards the ceiling, you're gonna use your right hand to push the left hand to the left as you look over your right shoulder. You breathe in, you come back to center, breathe out, push. So the fingertips stay towards the ceiling the entire time. You're looking in opposite direction of your hands. Good. Easy enough. Go to a nice wide stance now. As you push to the left, shift your weight to the left as you look over the right shoulder. Come back to the center rising up, then push to the right and shift to the right. One more time, come back to center. Good. Turn on the heel so now you're facing the right. You can bring it in a little bit. So if your right leg is forward, your left hand comes forward and your right hand goes behind you. And you're just gonna twist and look then come back, switch, turn. Dragon twist. One more time. Come back to center. Now push out with your left hand, 
pull your right hand in by your side and then switch. So we push out, we pull in. Powerful dragon. One more time. Bring it in, turn to the opposite side, push. One more time, we'll come back to center. So push, come back to center. Bringing down the heavens. Gather the energy as you breathe in, bring your feet in a bit. Feel the weight of the energy in your palms. Push it down as you breathe out through the top of your head, down the torso, down the legs into the ground. Twice more, breathe in. And pause and breathe out. Pause, gather the energy, breathe in. Pause, breathe out as you push the energy down the body. Bring your right hand behind the head so it's cradling the skull. So it's at the top of the neck, just below the skull. Turn. To your left, look up and push the elbow to the ceiling. Then bring it across and push to the ceiling again. Now this time you're gonna angle the elbow down and pull across. So we breathe in, we come up. Breathe out, we come down and across. Variation of nine ghosts drawing swords. One more time. And we switch. So we come across nice and high, the first one. Staying high, come back. Then we drop down and cross. Breathe in as you come up, breathe out as you go across. Last one. Come back to center. And just let your hands drop. Bringing down the heavens, feet together. Finish with hands over the lower Dantian. Feel that energy coming out of your palms. Let your body rock and sway as that energy moves through your body. Lighting up every cell, every part of your physical being. And then let that energy expand outward. Encasing you in a protective energetic cocoon. Just allow yourself to float weightlessly inside this cocoon.
Begin to notice what it feels like to be safe. To be healthy. To be at peace. Take a nice deep breath in, gather those feelings, those energies, and take them with you for the rest of the day. Thank you.